Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and you are listening to Subhash Chandra. In this video, we will try to understand what is process planned engineering, which is one of the ultimate responsibility of all piping design engineers. But unfortunately, most piping design engineers do not know about it. So the very intent of this video is to educate you about your bigger responsibilities. So what is your bigger responsibility? Your bigger responsibility is not only piping. Your major and bigger responsibility is to develop a design for process plan. So in such a way that you can develop the entire design from scratch. So that's your bigger responsibilities. Initially, you may be starting as a piping design engineer, but over a period of time, when you grow higher and higher, you will become a senior piping engineer. And after that, you will become a lead engineer. So when you, the moment you become a lead engineer, you must have an idea about how to develop a design from scratch for the process plan. So let's understand what is this process plant engineering. Process plant engineering is nothing but series of engineering activities executed in order to build a process plan. Because when you do an engineering, piping is not the only team that involves. You have civil, you have a mechanical team and you have instrumentation, you have electrical and you have safety persons, process engineers. So various disciplines are involving to build one product and the name of the product is process plan. So we should channelize this engineering activities. We should systemize this engineering activities. Why to systemize the engineering activities? Only then you will be able to execute in the right time in a proper way. So it is very, very important for all the piping design engineers to understand what are the engineering aspects and what are the aspects of design involved in process planned engineering. So let me give you an overall idea about it. So let's understand what is process plan first. Process plans are something known as manufacturing unit and it produces products such as fuels, crude byproducts, petrochemical products and petrochemicals and fuel gas, chemicals, polyethylene. There are more than hundreds or two hundreds of products are there. So basically it's a production unit. It's a manufacturing unit that produces a product basically. So it varies from plant to plant. Chemical plants are more into making a chemical products and petrochemical plants are more into making into uh, petrochemical products. So it varies basically from one unit to an another unit. So in this video, we will try to understand few of the engineering involved in the making of process plant. So for our example, I just have taken crude distillation unit as an example over here. So the picture what you are seeing on the screen is known as PFD. PFD means process flow diagram, which is completely different than the PNID. PNID means piping and instrumentation diagram. So what does PFD shows? PFD shows only the major process scheme. So in this uh, picture, you can see that there are major equipment such as distillation tower, fired heaters and desalters. And these are known as uh, heat exchangers. And we have pumps over here. So the major in, uh, equipments are shown over here and the piping, major piping is also shown. So piping along with the flow direction to understand the flow pattern of this fluid. So it enters from here and it goes to this heat exchanger and then it goes to the other, another heat exchanger. So it goes to one equipment to an another equipment. So PFD indicates the major uh, ske flow schemes basically. Now let's go into the major, uh, the plant engineering making of it. So the first and foremost thing that we have to do in uh, the plant engineering making is that so first we have to identify a plot. Plot identification is nothing but a location identification where we have to construct this entire plant. So the, that's the very first activity. So that when uh, an engineering company gets the project, the first activity is to identify the plot actually. Then what we have to do is that equipment placement because uh, we have seen some equipments in the PFD, right? Those equipments needs to be placed actually. So what are the equipments there? We had various equipments that we have seen in the PFD like heaters, towers, pumps, heat exchangers. So there may be different equipments for different plants. This is just an example actually. So once you identify a plot and uh, we go to um, uh, arrange the equipments, Arranging the equipment also has some design conditions actually. It has to qualify the uh, safety procedures and uh, safety guidelines. So there are different kind of engineering involved uh, in while arranging an equipment. So it's completely an uh, uh, primary one of the primary task I would say actually. It is not a simple task. Arranging an equipment needs certain types of evaluation. But uh, the intent is that here after plot making and after plot identification, you will go on uh, in placing an equipment. So only then you will be able to plan the space. So we are trying to plan the space for the entire unit because the ultimate intent is to develop the uh, process plan for CDU. 
okay so we are try we have arranged the equipments over here so after arranging the arranging the equipments the very next thing we have to do is then accessibility because we should access each of these equipments so in order to provide an accessibility we should provide roads roads uh, are actually done by civil engineers actually but piping design engineers has to allocate a space so this much of space needs to be allocated for roads only then uh, it will be well planned actually if you don't provide a road at the very beginning of the stage and in the later stage what happens is that various other items also will come into picture then you may not be able to plan things actually so the primary important uh, activity has to be planned in advance so uh, like a plot uh, identification and equipment placement and road so these are the very major primary activity that has to be done at the very initial stage of the project so after roads what we have to do is piping because uh, when you do a piping only then you will be able to know that how much space is required for piping so the piping that goes from one equipment to another so what we generally do we just make a conceptual routing to understand uh, how far the piping is going and how far the spaces are required for making a piping so after uh, making a conceptual piping the pipe racks are made so the black one that you are seeing over here is the pipe rack actually so because after making a piping uh, conceptual piping uh, design actually we'll try to understand that i mean uh, we'll come to know that we need uh, the pipe rack over here actually so accordingly we'll place a pipe rack so here on either side of the equipment so that the piping can enter from here and it can go to the equipment and here also the piping can enter from here and it can go to the equipment so likewise conceptually we design actually after pipe racks actually we have to give a consideration for instruments you know why it is because when you are saying a process plant uh, each of these equipments involves certain level of a control system right it will have an instrument it will have a safety instrument it will have a automatic valves control valves actually so each of these systems will have instruments and control valves and these control valves are controlled through signals and um, some of the instruments uh, signals has to be transferred to the control room only then you will be able to monitor from the control room so certain instruments are for reading and certain instruments are for controlling basically so the placing this instrument is not only the only activity providing a cables so we have to provide a instrument cable for each of this instrument so only then instrument will work actually so we should the intent is that we should plan a space for the instrument cables it could be an above ground cable or it could be an underground cable but the very intent of this video is to understand realize the engineering required the piping design engineers has to understand that there there will be uh, instrument cables so only then you will uh, allocate a space for instrument cables basically so or you will be able to plan the space considering all of these factors so next point is that electricity when you're making a plant you need to have a lights actually It's because the plant has to be operated day and night so it has to have some lights actually so without lights and people can't work at night actually basically in dark spaces basically and not only that there are some certain equipment which are operated through electric source basically if you see take pumps actually pumps are operated through electric source so we should give electricity to these pumps basically so how do we do it actually we have to provide an electrical cables actually so these electrical cables are again once again it could be underground or it could be an above ground it has to come from the substation it has to come from the from the origin point so this has to be considered while making a process plant engineering so these much of engineerings are required piping design engineer has to plan in accordance with this factors actually only then he will be able to develop a perfect design so the electricity supply has been given now and the factor is also considered next is what fire water so the fire water is something that is very mandatorily required for all the plants because in case of fire the fire has to be immediately controlled controlled by using fire waters actually so fire waters are generally run all over the plant not only here this is just a, a, a typical representation that i am showing it over here fire water will have a distribution actually in such a way that it will reaches to each of the equipments and each of the each corner of the plant so only then it can uh, safe uh, safeguard the plant uh, in case of uh, a fire hazard so it's one of the very important activity so the very intent again the very intent of this video is that the piping design engineer has to understand that so the piping uh, for the fire water also to needs to be planned so the space needs to be allocated for it actually if you don't consider and plan your uh, equipments and other cable trays then what happens is that you will end up in, uh, in a tight situation where you may not be able to change your design so it will make then changing a design will be too costly at the later stage of the project now the fourth one is the trenches 
you know the reason why the trenches are made because uh, during draining of this equipment say for an example the these equipments has uh, hydrocarbon chemicals and various items actually and moreover during the rainy season the water has water should not uh, get clogged in the uh, operate i mean the accessible areas so the water has to go freely actually for that storm water trenches are there and to collect uh, hydrocarbons we have oil trenches are there so generally the very intent of this video is to understand that you should provide a space for trenches trenches to collect uh, the oil waste and the hydrocarbon waste and uh, the floor waste basically and uh, rainwater um, waste and uh, i mean during uh, rainy time the water has to uh, go to the lowest point immediately so in such a way you should provide a trench actually so trenches are provided in order for all this um, to in order to address all these issues so likewise we have uh, we can keep on list down many such engineering uh, factors that are involved in making of the plant so plant making is one of the ultimate responsibility of piping design engineers so the my only request is that when you're developing a plant you don't uh, i mean when you're developing a piping design don't focus only on to developing a piping design you should also think about considering the other factors such as uh, instrument uh, cables and electrical cables and roads and access and uh, i mean the fire water and trenches so this is the kind of knowledge that you have to develop over a period of time just making in a piping layout on isometric will not serve for a longer term actually you have to develop a core knowledge in building the overall plan so only then you will be able to grow to the bigger responsibilities and a bigger role so i guess this video has helped you to understand what this process plan engineering is about thank you so much for watching my video and thanks for your support and thanks for your subscription and for others who haven't subscribed to my channel i kindly request you to give me your subscription because that motivates me to make more and more videos and if you like this video please give me a like and also share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in another fantastic video until then bye from subhash chandran thank you so much for watching my video once again